channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I just started mine. Today's Saturday and I really just wanted to vlog and show you what today's gonna be like because it's gonna be very relaxing. I still have a few things to do but well actually I have one main thing to do and then at night I'm going to a concert with my friends to see the band that's like my favorite Russian band and like one of my favorite bands ever. There are five songs of theirs that have walked everywhere with me like every single time when I'm not in a really good mood wherever I am like if it's in India or if it's in San Francisco or Berlin I'll just like blast those songs in my ears and just like walk and my mood would instantly get better and the fact that I am in Moscow now and they are performing they're like a very small indie alternative music type of band you'll hear it I'll show you um, I'm just so so happy I can't wait so I really wanted to document it and show it to you guys as well and other than that, what time is it? Other than that, I need to write, I want to, I get to, I'm excited to write a paper for my art class, but I feel like I'm sharing too many things that you probably don't know about. Hi, I'm, I'm really hot, <laughs> sorry. The weather outside is so nasty, but, but inside it's just really hot for some reason. Hi, I am Dinara, I am from Moscow, Russia originally, but I've been a student at Minerva schools sorry not Minerva schools at KGI anymore at Minerva University Oof. for the past four years in case you're not familiar with the US education system in order to graduate from a bachelor program you have to have 120 credits and you gain credits for every class that you take so I was lacking four credits and I could have used like an outside internship to cover those credits but instead I thought I would make the most out of my education take another class so this semester I'm remote I only have one course and it is an arts course I'm so excited it is called socioeconomic influences on art and literature and my majors in social sciences right I love deconstructing societies how they work and stuff and the fact that I get to that's my yoga mat. The fact that I get to combine like both social sciences with arts and to study the Renaissance and opera and <sighs> just makes me so happy. That's one of the things I need to do today. I need to write a paper and I'm gonna catch up with my friend. And it's just gonna be a relaxing day at home. I might take a nap as well because the concert starts at 1 a.m. But we're probably gonna get drinks before that. I know a lot of you guys are my age or like around my age and I'm sure a lot of you have recently graduated from university or you're about to, you graduated from high school and there's always like this period, well not always but for me, there's like usually this period of limbo where I'm trying to figure out what the next stage of my life is going to be and usually or like when I was younger I put so much pressure on myself to like figure it out right now you can't be lazy you can't relax you have to like get up i don't care that you just graduated just like go 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 do things and this time around i'm literally just so calm and happy and i'm not like technically done with minerva perhaps this that's why i feel this way but i'm just like doing my own thing and i get up every day and i don't know what it's gonna bring i'm like oh what do i want to do today do i want to go out to see my friends or do I want to like stay at home and read? Do I want to like just like start a new project or something? And <sighs> I was so stressed out and like anxious. My past semester at university because it was a semester that as I've shared in my previous videos, I was just really, really full. Like my life was really, really full with projects and commitments. And I just felt like I was like being pulled apart everywhere. And then the thesis was there as well. So it was definitely one of the most stressful semesters I've ever had. and. To jump into this fall semester when I'm just, you know, discussing the marriage of Figaro and women in renaissance and just hanging out with my cat. I know it might sound a little like pathetic, but it just feels so good. So thank you for joining in on this vlog. I'm really excited to take you with me. I can't believe that this YouTube channel was mainly creative for like my Minerva adventures when I was starting it or just like my life adventures and... I'm glad I keep having them, even though I'm not in a rotation city, I'm not with like my classmates anymore, but I think I've made some good connections in Moscow as well. I'm really proud of myself, to be honest. I'm gonna take my coffee and I wanna read a little bit. Where's my book? Oh, my book is downstairs. I'm reading a book, it's called... Wait, you know what? I'm gonna show you something else. I was, I was in Paris recently, which is what a dream to say that, right? Like, I was in Paris. 
And there's this amazing store there. It's called Shakespeare and Company. Here's their logo. And I love this store so much. It's very popular, but in case you don't know, like I highly recommend you visit it because I've... <clears throat> what just happened there? I'm sorry. <clears throat> you know when places are very hyped up and sometimes they don't live up to those expectations. So initially I was a bit like reluctant to check it out, but oh my God. <sighs> There's the most like beautiful books on the first floor and there's like such a wide collection. And then you go upstairs and there's like the old, old books collection, like the books from the 1920s and stuff. And there's a cat that lives there and there's a piano and it was just like such a beautiful atmosphere. I picked up two books, this one and the one I'm gonna read is in another room. This one is about being happy and it's written by Epicurus, who's supposed to be like an ancient Greek philosopher. So small and so cute, I just love books like this that I can just like take with me because they fit into my little purse. So I'm gonna read, I'm gonna drink my coffee and then call my friend. You and I, we're gonna have a beautiful, cozy, fun day together. I'm in the mood for love Simply because you're near me Honey, but when you're near my long catch-up call with Anna. It was just so nice. If you don't know, you don't know Anna, but Anna's literally a rock star. I love her. So, well, not literally, she doesn't like sing and stuff, but <laughs> you know, like personality-wise, she's a rock star. Okay, I'm gonna go eat and then work on my paper. With a sniveling work weasel guy, my friend, I could be hanging out with my boyfriend, who I actually respect. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I've been gone from home for such a long time or something else, but my cat has become so needy. <laughs> I can't complain though, I'm enjoying it. Darling, you send me, I know you send me, darling. since that concert and to be honest I don't remember what was the last thing I told you but after that I think I got home at like 3 or 4 a.m or 4 a.m I got home at 4 a.m and it's been a lovely week I realized lately that I am living my dream life here in Moscow let me explain something about it though I used to think that in order to live your dream life and be happy and joyful every day you had to like achieve something you have a goal a dream you work really hard to achieve it and then you achieve it and then you live your dream life you like living through the rewards of your hard work it ain't true it's not what the abundance mentality is about it's not what happiness is about for instance when i was in seoul I was waking up every day and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm in Korea. This is my dream life. When I was in London, I was like, I can't believe like I'm walking down these streets. This is so special. I'm living my dream life. And now that I'm in Moscow, I'm literally in my childhood room. I wake up every day and I'm like, wow, this is the dream life. I'm so grateful. And then after some time, I just realized that, wow, I'm just home and it's already a dream. You know, it's, it doesn't have to be this like huge goal that I have to like dedicate my whole life to, to achieve. It can also just be these moments of comfort, of ease, of spending time with your cat, with your pet, of journaling. The thing that makes me so happy now, guys, is that 
my bed sheets are so damn beautiful it makes me so happy that there's like a painting that i found in a gallery and i bought a poster and i literally framed it and i put it on the wall that makes me so happy the candles the candles around my room make me so happy i got a wide board it's just those little things you know and i'm so happy that this mentality finally drilled into my head because when I was living a very fast-paced, busy life that was filled with things that people usually strive for, like lots of traveling and like important people and money, <laughs> stuff like that, um, I just wasn't fulfilled, to be honest. I was really anxious and my mental health was shit. And now I'm mostly by myself and I'm just so joyful this is such a better place to manifest from i feel like this is the only place like mental place from which to manifest i don't have to suffer to get where i want to be i can enjoy every step of the way of course there might be hurdles but we can overcome them does this make sense i hope this makes sense like this is how you manifest in my opinion when you feel good and grateful about the life you're living at this moment even if it's really difficult right i can also talk i can also like i can also say some things that i'm not happy with but i'm not gonna do that you know it's not it's not my focus my focus has shifted to the things that do make me happy and when you do that when you feel good about the things that are already in your physical reality that's a really really good spot because that gratitude gives you the energy to manifest new things to come the things that you really want to come into your physical reality in the future that's that's where i'm at that's what i wanted to share the concert was fucking amazing the band if you're curious it's a russian band it's called sama basha prestojislo which means the biggest simplest number i don't even know how to describe them like alternative folk electro music band i'll link them down below because I just, ugh. Oh. Again, something I manifested because I love them so much. I've loved them for years. And then my friend just texted me out of the blue. Hey, let's go to this concert. And they were one of the bands that were performing there. I was like, oh, yes, please. I bought the ticket like the same minute. Anyways, <laughs> thank you so much for watching this vlog, for listening. If you have any thoughts or reflections about your own life, please share them down below so we can all feel good together. My plan is to FaceTime my sister and then tomorrow probably my old Minerva roommate Anna will come to stay with me. Maybe we'll film a little Minerva tea video. I don't know. Yeah, life is good. I love you guys so much. I'm sending you all my love, all the positive energy through this video. I'm like imprinting it on this recording right now. Have a wonderful, beautiful rest of the day. And if you feel like it, just write down 20 things you're grateful for. Just like take out a pen and paper and write down like 20 things that make you feel joyous and good. And you just want to thank the world for their existing. Make sure to subscribe as well because there's going to be a new video in a few days. And until I see you, Mwah, have a wonderful, grateful time.